Alrighty guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at importing files within TrueCut RZ Works. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise back in the program here. Now, um, this is going to be a mini series on import and export. Uh, it's going to be a rather short series, I think. And uh, yeah, we will start with importing files. I will also leave relevant links in the description so you guys can actually follow along. Now, when it comes to importing, we've uh, briefly touched base on this, but uh, today we're going to just be looking more in depth into it and uh, a few good things to know about the feature. So now, in order to... Um, use the feature there's three ways we can go about it so on our um uh, toolbar here on top i mean I'll, I'll what do you call this again i can't remember yeah system bar that's correct so yeah on our system bar we've got um the two icons for import and exporting you can see import is a little image with the arrow pointing towards it from the top down and export is the opposite arrow from the bottom showing up so basically one coming in, one going out. That's one way we can go to import. In other words, we go to our file menu on the top here. We navigate down till we find import. The shortcut for that is the control I. So that is the third way. So we can either use file as importing the shortcut or our um, system bar here. I'm just going to use a system bar. What we're going to do is we simply click import. Then uh, we met by this import um, option or dialog so first of all look in this will be um, your navigation so this is where you can go look for your graphics maybe some pictures or something like that then on the right here we've got a few different um, navigation buttons if you use uh, windows explorer and so forth you should be quite familiar with these but um, the first one is to go back so i'll go back one folder or to the last folder and this goes up one level so there is a difference between these two but uh we're not doing a tutorial on, on um file browser so just use this one if you're not sure up one level then we've got create a new folder and also next to that we've got a view menu which we can choose the size of the icons also stuff like auto arranger but that shouldn't be that um, necessary i just keep mine on large icons so i can see what's happening here um, also if you do select them so in this dialog box here you will select what you want to import then you can simply just click on it and then there should be a preview on the right if there's not you can always make sure this preview is enabled and then um, you should be able to see the preview then underneath that we've got the file name so if you want to confirm that you've got the right one and then under that we've got um, files of type which is supported files one that's what i keep it on but if we go down the list here you can see we have quite a variety of different things you can choose some popular ones like um, uh, illustrator then we've got dxf we've got all your popular ones like pdf bitmap gif jpeg and so forth would uh you know if you do not find your files you can always go through those formats to make sure it's set right but in general i just li like to keep it on supported files or supported files one and after you've selected your thing you simply click open it will import your file and already zoom to fit around it so if we zoom out here we can see there's the file now obviously once it's uh, imported you can just change it the way you want rescale it use for tracing or engraving but yeah so that is it on importing it's rather simple um you might have some different options with different formats you import maybe some ask you to do different uh, features i've not run through every single one that is quite uh normal though in programs we're importing but most of the time we'll just leave it by default and say import or open but then otherwise yeah if we head here to software training.co.za you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover and also you can isolate your search on the top right if you do not however find the videos you're looking for just go here request a training video and we will make that video for you but otherwise thanks guys for watching and cheers